Alrighty, welcome back to the RC Surf Shop. It's RC Surf here. Got a little uh, update here. We'll talk about the Bluetooth module uh, for your flight controller so you can use your phone to adjust and basically do all the stuff you would do on clean flight on the field. Uh, about two weeks ago, I saw a video on Painless 360's YouTube. I'll put a link to it below. And he very easily and simply hooked up the Bluetooth module using FTDI connector to give it a couple of simple uh, settings and voila it was hooked up. Uh, I got the uh, this morning I got it in uh, from Banggood it was like very inexpensive I think it was about six dollars and sixty six cents for the Bluetooth and uh, that should have been a red flag right there and uh, it was uh, like seven or eight bucks for the FTDI it was very inexpensive um, you need this for the program a couple other things so it was good to have in your in your kit if you like uh, FPV and these uh, quadcopters. Uh, anyhow, I just got to a point where I couldn't, act, once it was all hooked up to the PC, couldn't actually program the uh, Bluetooth, and I looked on the videos, a lot of people were in the same position, or situation. Uh, hold on, vape here. So, after further research, I found another program, another program to flash with and talk with. I'll put a link to it, uh, I think it was Flash Magic, I'll put a link to it below. And another video, uh, there's no talking in the video, but you can see the commands, also write the commands. So basically a, a little bit different syntax, but the same commands you need to do basically three. Um, these are these Bluetooth boards are shipped uh, from Banggood or where have you in China from, uh, with not the right uh, baud rate, they're at 9600. And you need to set it to uh, 115200 to talk to the flight controller, NAS or, or uh, what have you. Uh, and now there's two units too, like uh, the one he does in the video, he has the HCO6, which is always in a programming mode, it's easy to program. This is the HCO5 in a program that you need to actually, once you, uh, right before you hook it up to USB, there's a little button, you hold it down, and then when you plug it in, instead of getting a fast flashing light, you'll get a slow flashing light. So now it's in a, in a basic programming mode, that's actually at 38400 speed. Uh, so use the program Flash Magic, uh, set it to 38400 like the video shows, um, and use the commands to reset the Bluetooth. Uh, three things, the parameters are one is to set the speed to 115200. You can set a password and set it, uh, a name for the device. Once that's done, um, you can remove it from the uh, FTDI connector and then connect it to your flight controller. Uh, it goes to the RXTX uh, 5 volt power plus and uh, negative. Now my uh, Skyline uh, 32 has a little micro JST with the uh, Atlas that plug right into the uh, Bluetooth. It was very easy and simple. Um, basically right out of the JST and then each one goes onto each pin. Uh, remember RX out of the flight controller to TX on the uh, Bluetooth and TX out of the flight controller to RX on the Bluetooth. So once it was up, uh, you use this program from uh, Android uh, that I'm using, it's EZGUI. And uh, basically, once you hook up the uh, quad to power and turn on the app, and then connect. It's coming through the phone here. So it's connecting. And you have you air mode. Nice. Better be careful. <laughs> Uh, but you have basically the same um, access to your flight controller that you do on clean flights. So you can just all the field. Um, you've got a couple of gyros, or, or not gyros, but uh, displays to work with. I don't know if it's coming through. Um, let's see what else. I actually don't even have my receiver on right now. So it should be in some kind of a fail safe. And uh, you basically have everything here. Uh, let's see what the other dashboard looks like. This one is there. Okay. I'm going to definitely um, uh, upgrade this to the. Oh, you got a, a receiver. Basically, you have everything that you have on Clean Flight. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you can. Uh, to get to these advanced options you need to buy, which is fine, which I'll do later tonight. You can, with the free version, change your PIDs. You can do CLI commands, and when I exit this CLI, it is going to reset the quad. There it goes. 
and there we go. And then uh, you can check your modes. Uh, you can do basically everything. So it's a really cool program to have. Uh, it's a really good setup. It was really easy once uh, you were able to program the HCO5 Bluetooth. I would say try and get the HCO6, but uh, if this is what you got, use those uh, the software and um, the commands to to get get it working. Uh, definitely a great thing. To, I just tuned mine the hard way by going to the field, coming back home, going to the field, but more quads to come, and of course I'll probably want to change some settings. And it's great to have that at the field. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and uh, please subscribe and like. Any comments are welcome.